Welcome to the channel guys, my name is Jess. So Bitcoin has now invalidated an eight month long structure of consolidation by faking out and then rapidly dropping back into the range. We're gonna dive into the video today to discuss and analyze the recent price action for what it means and what exactly we need to be looking out for now moving forward. Before we get into all that though, make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe to the channel to get regular Bitcoin analysis every Monday, Wednesday and Saturday. If you're after even more content, be sure to check out my free Telegram channel. And if you're after my VIP channel, you can get more details over here. VIP gives you exclusive access to my personal trading setups with exact entry points, targets, and stop losses. Alrighty guys, so diving right into the daily chart, let's go ahead and talk about the recent price action before we dive into our analysis. So starting off this week, um, on Monday, it was a pretty brutal day. We started off with a rapid correction here from 69.5 thousand um, after Bitcoin broke out of this eight month long range of consolidation, our descending channel structure here. So that was pretty huge. But then as we went on to, you know, uh, retest the prior high in the downtrend, which a break of which would have put Bitcoin into an uptrend for the first time within this eight month period because we we're forming a high high. Unfortunately, we weren't able to fulfill that breakthrough. So we rejected here from 69.5 and fell back into the range here, finding support at the prior high in our two month long uptrend at $66,000. So over the last couple of days, though, as we've kind of chopped sideways, it's become pretty clear to us that this range or this price structure that a lot of our analysis was based off is now currently invalidated. So we're going to dive into the video today to talk about this recent price action um, and what exactly we need to be looking out for moving forward, starting off with the daily time frame and then going into the specifics of what exactly we're looking for in terms of trigger points and the most likely next segment of price action on the short time frame, and then moving on to the total cryptocurrency market cap chart. Before we get into the rest of the video, guys, let's hear a Quick word from our sponsor, BE you next, we can get 15% off all of your trading fees and up to 5,500 US dollars in sign up rewards when you create your free account using the link down in my description box. BE you next is an emerging cryptocurrency exchange committed to providing you with a secure, convenient, and highly functional trading and investment platform. Available across all countries as a non KYC exchange, get global access to over 150 trading pairs with minimal fees on both spot and futures contracts. Join today to get 5,500 US dollars in sign up rewards and get 15% off all of your trading fees by signing up using the link in my bio or by using the code 1GG3 when you create your account. So starting off our analysis on the daily time frame here, let's talk about a pattern that has been exhibited by Bitcoin over the last two month period while we travel in our uptrend. So this earlier segment doesn't really count because we were still somewhat in a previous monthly downtrend over here that we were still kind of yet to break, um, which was later then facilitated by that developing uptrend. But let's go ahead and talk about that pattern. So in early September here, we ended up breaking out from a monthly downtrend. And in that breakout, the first thing that we needed to do was break above the prior high in the downtrend. That is generally one of the first validation points that we have for seeing a higher time frame continuation because we have stopped forming these lower lo lower highs as exhibited by a downtrend and moved on to forming higher highs instead first, started by you know a breakthrough of the prior high. So the first target we had breaking out of this downtrend was um, $64,000 over here, this prior high. And we saw exactly that, right guys? We went up to $66,000. We saw a small deviation there and then a correction to retest the prior high within our two month long uptrend here at $60,000. And then upon establishing support there and bouncing with structural, I guess, validation of an uptrend as well, we went on to push past $66,000 and went on to retest the range high of our downtrend here at $68,000. Again, we saw a deviation, we moved to 69, and then we saw a correction back down to once again retest the prior high in our uptrend. So essentially what this pattern is telling us is that while Bitcoin holds its current validation points being our prior high support at $66,000, as well as our structural validation being our uptrend, we can expect that we should be bouncing in a high time frame manner. We should be bouncing from 66,000, pushing past the prior high here at 69.5 and into the next level of significance, which is very likely to be the end of that range of liquidity at 72,000. And then potentially we won't see a correction there to retest 69 as a basis support 
and so on and so forth. Of course, nothing plays out that beautifully, I wish, but it does kind of tell us that moving forward now, while we hold 66K, that base of support, and our structural narrative here, we can expect a degree of bullish continuation. And conversely, that same information is going to give us indications that we're going to see the opposite, a breakdown. So starting off with an invalidation of support here at $66,000 and closing below sell side liquidity here at 65, that's going to be that very first signal that we might see a further correction. So that's going to take us into this next um, key level of support here at $64,000, right? Um, the top of that prior horizontal range that Bitcoin was traveling in, in earlier on in October. So that retest of $64,000 is probably going to also coincide with a retest of our two month long uptrend here, wherein a leading break here on the RSI will also suggest potentially that we're going to lose that level of structural support. And then below $64,000, we go on back into that prior horizontal range of consolidation, ending here at $60,259K. We're closing below sell side liquidity here at $58,800. We form, instead of forming higher lows like we have in the past couple of months, we form, whoopsies, it's the other way around, lower lows, right? Because we've broken down from this uptrend and formed that prior, you know, broken down from that prior horizontal level. Sorry, I don't know why that articulated that so poorly. And that is when things start to look a little bit more bearish on a higher time frame as we expect high time frame bearish continuation into lower levels past that 59k. As of right now, though, Bitcoin is still very much holding our level of support at 66,000. So let's dive into the short time frame to talk about the key trigger levels that we have here on the short time frame charts and how this pattern might play out on these smaller time frames. So taking a look at our four hour time frame here, what we saw in that prior play out of the pattern, so we had our rally to 66,000, right? And then following that correction, we started to consolidate in this horizontal channel over here, ranging from 59.5 with sell side liquidity at 58.9, um, up to the range high resistance being $64.5 thousand dollars. This little buy side liquidity wick there, and what the pattern played out as was a retest of the base, retest of the range high, retest of the base, an establishment of support on the midline, and then that short time frame uptrend facilitated a bullish continuation past 64.5 and into this prior range high over here on that uptrend, on that daily chart uptrend at $66,000. We're breaking above there. We managed to, you know, sustain a bullish continuation up to 69.5. So currently, if we take a look at the most recent segment of price action, what we've done is we've retested the range low, retested the range high, retested the range low, and now we are currently trying to establish support at the midline of our channel of consolidation here. So if we manage to do that and form our short time frame uptrend, we can then potentially expect a bullish continuation to retest the range high, where in a break above buy side liquidity here, that little wick at 68,800, we can expect a bullish continuation to retest the weak high. And in a break of that, expect a continuation to test the next level of resistance here at $72,000. Conversely, if we end up falling below the midline, that gives us indication that we might see another retest of our range low over here. And also, if we take a look at just below that range low on the VRPV here, we do have a very significant gap right down to 64.5, the prior buy um, side liquidity level of resistance here in that previous range of consolidation. So in our next range low retest, there is a potential there that we get a liquidity wick and a grab down to 64.5 um, before seeing that you know bounce and reversal there and then you know opposingly if we don't end up bouncing there and we don't form a wick we actually close below 64.5 once again that's that warning sign that we're moving into 64k support over here right on that daily time frame where we go in to potentially retest our two month long uptrend so all in all, guys, while the price action has been exceptionally volatile and kind of confusing, um, we can kind of break it down into these sort of parallel channel structures over here um, and understand the price action using that moving forward, particularly since this macro descending channel structure here on Bitcoin has now been invalidated, right? So I think focusing on these shorter time frames is a little bit easier moving forward right now, just because in terms of the macro charts on Bitcoin, 
things aren't looking so clear, right? We're at resistance, so that's all we need to know. We're at support as well, support and our uptrend that's facilitating that bullish continuation. And on the short time frame, we have our key triggers, we have our key structures, we know what we need to know moving forward. So we've lost the structure here on Bitcoin, but over on total three, we have not, uh, not total three, sorry, total cryptocurrency market cap, we have not. So apparently during this eight month period while bitcoin broke out of the structure earlier on this month and broke back down and all coins have been massively leading bitcoin in bullish behavior the overall cryptocurrency market cap has not actually exhibited the excessively bullish behavior that bitcoin and all coins have been doing for you know the last week or month or so and in fact we are still actually within that descending channel structure over here on total market cap so this was one last chart that i wanted to point out to you guys um not because you have to really be watching it insanely closely or you know um trading off of it per se but it is really cool to look at because now we know that you know the recent fake out while it's invalidated the macro structure on bitcoin the overall crypto market still has this structure intact to suggest whether or not we're seeing that breakout here on the entire crypto market which would suggest the same things that that bitcoin breakout suggested right a flip of our eight month long downtrend here in overall crypto market cap um, into a bullish trajectory and that bullish trajectory will take or very likely take um, in clearing above these resistances here, Bitcoin and altcoins into parabolic rallies and all-time highs. So that's definitely not something we've been able to achieve yet. And it's good to know that there is some sort of indication for that shift in market narrative when it happens. Alrighty guys, that is all the analysis that I have for you today. If you enjoyed the video or you learned something, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you're after even more content, be sure to check out my free telegram for daily updates as well as crypto and economic news. And if you're interested in my VIP channel, you can get more details over here. VIP gives you exclusive access to my personal trading setups with exact entry points, targets, and stop losses. And if you are a trader, don't forget to sign up down below to be your next to get 15% off all of your trading fees. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.